the arms. Take out the corresponding yarn. Work into a magic ring. Wrap the yarn around your fingers like this. Make loop around your middle finger and pinch the crossover of the yarn. Insert hook into the loop on middle finger, yarn under the hook and pull up loop. A magic ring is formed on the middle finger. In round 1, start with one chain stitch and then work Edison crochets. Finally, end with one slip stitch. Work one chain stitch first. Then work Edison crochets. Remember to mark the first stage of every round. Continue to work some more some crochets in the same way. Eight way shapes on the side stand for Edison crochets. Pull the yarn tail tight to close the ring. Remove the marker and work one snip stitch in the first stitch to join this round. Round point is done. The stitches for rounds 2 to 6 are the same. In rounds 2 to 6, work 1 chain stitch, it is some crochets, and 1 snip stitch for each round. We will demonstrate round 2. Work 1 chain stitch first. Then work one some crochet in each stitch. Finish a total of eight some crochets in this round. Mark the first some crochet. Continue to work some more some crochets.
Edison crushes the down. Skip these two small wave shapes formed by the slip stitch and the chain stitch. Remove the marker and work one slip stitch in the mark stitch to join this round. Round 2 is done. Turn the fabric. Please finish rounds 3 to 6 in the same way as round 2 by yourself. Work 1 chain stitch, add some crochets, and 1 slip stitch for each round. Round 6 is done. Now we need to change the yarn. Release the white yarn from your fingers. Take out the red yarn. Wrap the yarn around your finger. And then bring it up to index finger. Pinch the yarn tail and the fabric together like this. Wrap the yarn over the hook and pull the yarn through the loop on the hook. Pull the white yarn tight. The chain stitch of round 7 is done. The yarn change is finished. In round 7, start with one chain stitch, and then work 8 crochets. Finally, end with one slip stitch. One chain stitch is done. Then work Edison crochets with red yarn. Put the yarn tails above the hook during crocheting. Continue to work for more some crochets.
Edison Cruz is done. Remove the marker. And work one slip stitch in the first stitch to join this round. Round 7 is done. Please finish round 8 in the same way as round 7. Work one chain stitch, add some crochets, and one slip stitch in turn. Round 8 is done. In round 9, we need to chain yarn. Release the red yarn. Wrap the white yarn around your fingers again. Paint the fabric with your thumb and midfinger. Wire yarn over the hook and pull the yarn through the loop on the hook. Pull the red yarn tight. The chain stitch of round 9 is done. The yarn change is finished. Then work Edison crochets with wet yarn. Put the yarn tails above the hook during crocheting. Remember to mark the first stage. Break the red yarn. Hide the yarn tails inside the fabric. Continue to work some crochets. There will be eight some crochets in total in this round. Eight some crochets are done. Remove the marker. And work one slip stitch in the first stage to join this round.
Run 9 is done. Please finish runs 10 to 30 in the same way as run 9 by itself. Work one chain stitch, 8 some crochets, and one snip stitch for each round. Round 13 is done. Stretch the loop and remove the hook.